And now to a story of lost and found. Any idea what I'm referring to? You've seen it already. Jack Ma, the Alibaba founder. Ma has finally reappeared nearly three months after he went missing from the public eye. Jack Ma was recorded speaking to teachers from rural China. He told them, and I'm quoting, we will meet again after the epidemic is over. Someone posted this 50-second video on Twitter. It went viral instantly. Many questioned its authenticity. Some questioned its date, but most chose celebration over speculation. Among them was the Hong Kong stock market. Alibaba shares were up 8.5%. The company's valuation rose by $58 billion. Ma's reappearance is being viewed as a big relief for Alibaba and, of course, its investors. But is this story so black and white? Does, does Jack Ma's reappearance promise his safety? Does it mean that Alibaba's bad days are now a thing of the past? The answer lies in history and politics. We'll discuss both. Jack Ma's previous appearance was on the second Bund Summit in Shanghai. This was on the 24th of October 2020. That was the day when Jack Ma criticized China's regulatory system and state-run banks. He called them out for behaving like pawn shops. Chinese authorities went after Ma and his empire. Alibaba's affiliate, the Ant Group, was forced to suspend its $37 billion IPO plan. China also launched an antitrust investigation against Alibaba. The company was probed for suspected monopoly practices. Alibaba's reputation took a hit. The company lost $140 billion. Jack Ma's net worth began fluctuating. Following that, he did not appear in a TV show he was supposed to judge. He also missed other scheduled appearances. His absence fueled speculation. The word was that Chinese authorities had gone after him and that he may be the next Meng Hongwei or Fan Bingbing, the Interpol chief and the famous Chinese actress who faced the wrath of the Chinese state. Adding fire to all the speculation were some open secrets. The rise of the Ant Group had put Alibaba at odds with China's state-dominated financial system. The rise of Jack Ma had put him at odds with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Everyone in China is aware of this. Like we've been telling you, Jack Ma is the poster boy of China. At home, they call him Daddy Ma. Some Chinese youth call him Teacher Ma. Jack Ma is seen as the godfather of entrepreneurship. To be honest, he's nothing less than a legend in China. He sings, he dances, he acts, he paints, he fights. Jack Ma's cult has begun threatening Xi Jinping's party state, a system where only one person can be celebrated, and that's Xi Jinping himself. And the dictator is not happy with the success story of Jack Ma. One headline read, there is no Jack Ma era, but a Jack Ma in the era. China is also running an anti-Jack Ma campaign online. Reports claim that Jack Ma is being portrayed as a wolf in sheep's attire. And his venture, the ant group, is being painted as a lone shark. Chinese consumers are concerned. And some investors say they have no clarity as to what is going on in Alibaba. Jack Ma may not have been jailed like real estate tycoon Reng Xingjiang or billionaire entrepreneur Sun Da Wu. But his company, Alibaba, is not out of danger. Jack Ma's recent video hints at the entrepreneur buckling under Chinese pressure. Just listen to what Jack Ma told the teachers. And I'm quoting, During this period of time, my colleagues and I have been learning and thinking, and we have become more determined to devote ourselves to education and public welfare. This is not only because I'm a teacher myself, but more importantly, education, especially rural education, is of great importance. Today, our country has achieved complete poverty alleviation, comprehensively promoted the rural revitalization strategy, entered a new stage of development, and is moving towards common prosperity. I'm referring to a transcript published in a Chinese outlet. And if all of this is authentic, including that video, then Jack Ma's tone has evidently taken a 180 degree turn since his Shanghai speech. What does all of this mean? Analysts say that the Chinese government may take over Alibaba. Reports say there are four possibilities that employees in Alibaba are preparing for. Number one, nationalization. Number two, splitting of the business. Number three, more restrictions. Number four, fines. Does any of this sound like the end of troubles for Alibaba? Well, you know the answer. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.